beautiful stars. I hope that you're doing so, so well today. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Molly, and today I have my vinyl collection for you. So I've been doing these my collection videos on my channel for a while now. I have, like, my neck scarf collection. I have my handbag collection, and now I have this one. If there's anything else you want to see from me, definitely comment down below. Let's just get into it. I have a lot to share. I love vinyls. I really got into them a couple of years ago, and then kind of when vinyls really, really had, like, a resurgence when I was in high school. And my sister had one, and... And actually both of my older sisters had vinyl players and I was like so obsessed with it and they always got like really cool ones like the Home Alone soundtrack and Pretty Woman and stuff and I just loved that because those were things that I grew up watching and listening to all the time. So then I always wanted one and you see them at the thrift store a lot but you never know how they're actually going to work especially if it's like a crossley. I heard that those aren't the best players to get and mine is not a crossley it's actually i have i can't remember the name off the top of my head because yes i am a vinyl enthusiast but i'm not like i don't know everything there is to know about them so still learning throw in some tips throughout the video on like where i find my vinyls and how i take care of them if you're curious but let's just get into it so i have all my little babies here these are all the 45s that i have and this one is do they know it's christmas it's the band-aid uh song so it's feed the world with Bananarama, Culture Club, Duran Duran. This is such a fun one. I actually found like a huge, a taped pack of like 45s, but this is so cool. It's from 1984 from Columbia Records, and I listened to that this holiday season. This one's really cool. I have Man on the Moon, and this is also from the thrift store. It's all the CBS news castings from the first moon landing, I believe. I listened to it once. It's just kind of talking about that, and then I have The Turtles, Happy Together, which is one of my favorite songs, and the other side is like the CBS seasons by the turtles. I have a bunch of these really cute Walt Disney story times and these ones I found at a garage sale for 25 cents a piece. I had my nephew in mind because I actually used to listen to these when I was in kindergarten. My kindergarten teacher would have put on these like story times during nap time and so it's like the storybook and then the vinyl and it plays like a little chime every time you're supposed to turn the page. So I have the jungle book, Peter Pan, the fox and the hound, and I have Robin Hood. So these are really fun actually to listen to when I'm journaling or when I'm cleaning my room. A few others, a lot of these I haven't listened to quite yet, but this is the Sesame Street going for a ride, which is super cute. And the other side is I Love Trash by Oscar the Grouch. This one's like super taped up, so I'm gonna have to be super careful when I take this out. Dang thrift stores. In Your Letter from Ario Speedwagon. And that is just the entire Thing there 99 red balloons by Nina and it has the English version and the German version so 99 love balloons is the song you might recognize it's in the wedding singer that's the way I'm only trying to help by culture club and karma chameleon by culture club ain't that a shame by cheap trick it looks like somebody made this one the curly shuffle jump for joy which I think is like a it's from the Jump in the Saddle Band. This came in one of the packages, so I didn't really like pick this one out, but I still have it. And then I have Weird Al Yankovic, Eat It, which my <laughs> my sixth grade English teacher would play Weird Al all the time, so that was a really cool one to find. Rod Stewart's Days of Rage and Forever Young, which is a good one. Gary Wright's Let It Out, and the reason I got this one is for Gary Wright's Dreamweaver. Reminds me of Wayne's World every time. So those are all my little babies. And then I have all of my other records. So let's just get into those. I am a huge fan of Carly Simon. Listen to Carly Simon on one of her vinyls. I'll actually find that one first. It's funny because I actually have two copies of this vinyl. So it's this vinyl. This one my sister actually used to like hang up on her wall or for decor purposes. And it's the best of Carly Simon. So at least I have another copy of it. But it's completely by itself. So... I need to find like a way to store that better. But I have that record and I actually have the actual thing for it if I can find it. You know what, we'll find her later, but I have Carly Simon's Spy, which is really cool. And this one opens up, love her. And this was 250 at a Family Pathways, which is a like thrift store chain in Minnesota. And then, oh, it was right there the whole time. The best of Carly Simon. This one is like one of my favorite records. It was one of the first ones I ever got. I actually found it at a Goodwill several years ago. And since it was one of my only vinyls I had, I would listen to it. And that's when I really, really found my like joy for Carly Simon's music. And this has Mockingbird, You're So Vain, We Have No Secrets, some really, really good ones from her. So love that. As a Village People Macho Man, and this has Macho Man, I Am What I Am, 
And then side two has Medley, Just a Gigolo, I Ain't Got Nobody, and Sodom and Gomoriah. Doesn't have YMCA, but I thought the village people would be something fun to listen to one day when I feel like it. Chavosky's, I think is how you say it. This is one of my favorite composers, and it's Swan Lake, which is one of my favorites to listen to around this time of year. It's so beautiful and has, I think, the entire collection on this one. I haven't actually taken a listen yet. Some of these are also my dad's, so they're a little dusty, but this is Steve Miller Band, and it's a fly like an eagle. I'll also share with you my favorite songs on these vinyls for the ones I've listened to. This one's still brand new in the packaging. This was my dad's. It's Stevie Wonder's The Original Music Aquarium. And this one has Superstition, which I love that song. You Haven't Done Nothing. Sir Duke is on here. And Isn't She Lovely. So some really great stellar songs from Mr. Stevie Wonder. My dad also had Miss Barbara Streisand. This one's still brand in the packaging. The Jim Reeves collection, also from my dad, which has Welcome to My World, One Dozen Roses, Anna Marie, Golden Memories and Silver Tears, Gypsy Feet, Scarlet Ribbons, and then a couple of other sides. This one, I also, I love Nancy Sinatra, so I found this one. It's in kind of rough condition, so I'm nervous to play it, but I had to get it. It's featured in the Kill Bill series. This one I got off of Depop a couple years ago, and it's the Stranger Things Season 1 soundtrack. Super cool. It did come all bent and stuff, which is a bummer, but it's kind of what you get, I guess, for buying something online. But this one's really cool. It opens up and you see Will's bike and then the back has their shed. And there's four sides and then here are the inserts. So there's like this little poster and then just like a pamphlet. But this one's so cool. I love listening to this one around Halloween time. I got this one in England and it's off of uh, Brick Street, right? And it's ABBA's Greatest Hits Volume 2, which I love ABBA. And this one has Gimme, 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 Knowing Me, Knowing You, Take a Chance on Me, Money, 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 Angel Eyes, Dancing Queen, Chikikita. Oh my gosh, there's some really good ones, but my favorite song in this one has to be Dancing Queen or Thank You for the Music. I got this one in my college town. It's a Grease. I grew up listening to Grease and watching it all the time. We had it on CD. And so I am a huge fan of this movie and the soundtrack. Love Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta. One of my favorite songs on here is Summer Nights and Hopelessly Devoted to You. I was really happy to find that. And it was a really good price at the antique store I went to. I have Babes in Toyland from Walt Disney. This one, I think it folds open as well and it's a storybook. Which is so cool. I feel like you just don't find stuff like this anymore. This is another one of my favorites. It's the original motion picture soundtrack for Annie from 1982, I believe. And I also grew up watching this movie and dancing around to it with my sister Sarah. I just, this is like the best version of Annie ever. It's so good. It has, it has Carol Burnett and the girl that plays um, Annie is... Eileen Quinn, and then Tim Curry's in this, and Bernadette Peters. Some really stellar voices are on this soundtrack, and my favorite is Let's Go to the Movies with Anne Ryan King. She's so beautiful. Um, her voice is just butter. And then I love We Got Annie. Those are two of my favorites on this soundtrack. That was a lucky find. This one is also the Nutcracker. It's Nutcracker Sweet, and I have, I guess, two versions of this one, but this one's a little rough, as you can see <laughs> i'm hoping to tape that up and make it nice and clean one day i hit the vinyl jackpot at salvation army i rarely go to that one it's right by the gym that i work out at and i had to stop by and the records are right when you walk in and i found top gun the motion picture soundtrack and this is from the 80s and it has all of the top gun sound so it has danger zone from kenny loggins and it has mighty wings by cheap trick and then the really good one that was super popular on tiktok take my breath away this is from my dad too it's <laughs> saving the wildlife and it's just a bunch of pbs television special soundtrack stuff so i haven't listened to that yet but that would be nice uh when i'm journaling or something this is also my dad's it's chet atkins do not know who that person is but a few more from my dad's collection is bring up with billy bragg Another Chet Atkins. I must give this a listen. I just bought it at Target and I recommend getting it if you're a huge Stranger Things fan. This is Stranger Things 4 and it's the soundtrack so not just like the actual music in the background. It's literal soundtrack so it has Separate Ways, California Dreamin', Psycho Killer, Spellbound, it has Rock Me Out My Deuce, 
I Was a Teenage Werewolf, Play With Me, Detroit Rock City. Oh yeah, it has Running Up That Hill by Kate Bush. I was like, if it didn't, I was about to be like, what? But it has four sides. And this one is so cool. It was a little expensive, but I had to get it. It was an impulsive purchase, but I do not regret it at all. So you have the clock, and then we have L and a bunch of stills from the series. Inside, it came with this like trifold thing. And basically, you open it up, and there's a bunch of different versions of like where they all are. So we have that one, this one. And then the boys in Cali. I recommend it. It was like $34 or something at Target. So definitely check it out. Love that one. This was also impulsive. I got it on Walmart.com. So Target and Walmart.com are some really great places to find vinyl that's kind of random. I think the vinyl that they get is a little random because I found the Cheetah Girls soundtrack. Amazing. The whole reason I went on Walmart.com was to get... I'll show you the one that I wanted. But this is yellow pressed vinyl. So cool. I absolutely love this one. I used to have this CD and I lost it magically one day. And I used to listen to this all the time. So my favorite song from this one is Cinderella or Together We Can, but such a good one. Then I have Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2. This is also a Disneyland storybook. I've listened to this one and it's just so reminiscent of just being a kid and just hanging out in the summer days. I have The Sound of Music, which my favorite song here is Edelweiss. I just love that song so much. This is from the trip that I made, like I said, where I found the Top Gun soundtrack. I found Genesis, Invisible Touch. Well, obviously Invisible Touch is a really good one on here, but uh, Tonight, Tonight, Tonight is also a good song. That was amazing, because Phil Collins, like, are you joking me? This one, I also found that day. Billy Joel, The Stranger. <laughs> this one, oh my gosh, there's such amazing songs on this album, but I love Moving Out or Vienna is probably my top choice. We have some Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin. Simon and Garfunkel, Bridge Over Troubled Water. My favorite, I haven't listened to this one in a while, but I love Cecilia. At Home with Ernie and Bert. I think these would just be so fun to listen to with my nephews. I also have the Broadway version of Annie. And I haven't listened to this one as much, but this also opens up and you can see stills from the play. This is my dad's and it's one of my favorites. It really reminds me of him and it's John Dever's Greatest Hits. And I would say my favorite one is Take Me Home Country Roads. Such a classic. This was also one of my first ones that I ever got and I found it on Depop as well. And it's the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I also grew up watching this when I probably shouldn't have been, but I loved the music. I've always been a huge musical theater and Broadway fan, and it's on Red Press Vinyl. Utterly obsessed. Love Rocky Horror. They celebrated 40 years in 2016, so they're going to celebrate 50 years of this in 2026, which is crazy to think, but love Tim Curry. And then this was my most recent purchase with the Stranger Things one, and it's Romy and Michelle's High School Reunion soundtrack. This is one of my favorite movies from the 90s, and it has an amazing soundtrack. It has the Go-Go's and Bananarama, Naked Eyes, Wang Chung, Belinda Carlisle, and I just love Our Lips Are Sealed on this soundtrack. It reminds me always of Romy and Michelle. This one I also got recently at the thrift store. It's Natalie Cole's Inseparable, which has the amazing song, This Will Be, which reminds me of The Parent Trap. I got The Carpenters, which reminds me of my mom, and her favorite song is It's Only Just Begun, but that's actually not on this one. I haven't taken a listen to this album quite yet, but there's an amazing group of songs on this album. I also found Daryl Hall and Oats at that same thrift store, but I found it actually at a different time, so whoever donates their vinyls there, they have some really great taste. I love Daryl Hall and Oates. This one doesn't say what songs are on here, but I am looking forward to giving this one a listen. This one I got because another favorite of mine is Joni Mitchell, and this one's Count and Spark. Such a beautiful album. I just love that. Joni Mitchell, one of my favorite songs is River, and on here there is Down to You, Free Man in Paris, the same situation. None that I've actually listened to quite yet, but I'm looking forward to this one. Two. Found Foreigner, Double Vision, Hot Blooded is on here, and Double Vision, which are two of my favorites, so this is a really, really great vinyl. And this is also really exciting, is The Lost Boys. I love this movie. It's from 1987, 
or is it 86? 87. And this is also a really great soundtrack if you have not listened to it. Most of the songs are on Spotify. And People Are Strange by Echo and the Bunnymen is really good or Cry Little Sister. I still believe. I mean, there's some really good ones on here. We're almost there. I'm almost done sharing with you, but I, like I said, I have a lot. I got American Graffiti, which I grew up watching as well. I probably shouldn't have another one, but this one opens up like this. You can see stills from the movie. I haven't listened to this one yet, but I got it at the thrift store for about two bucks. I have the Doobie Brothers, which this one is a little, a little rough looking. This is from my dad. Er, oh my gosh, it's my mom's. It has her name and her maiden name on there. That is so amazing. But it's minute by minute, and the Doobie Brothers are good. What a Fool Believes is one of my favorites. I have Harry's House. This one is just the black press vinyl. I know that he came out with, I think, a yellow, and I think there's maybe one other, but Target exclusive, they had some, but look at that cutie pie. And this one did come with the postcard. I just can't remember. It also has, like, the little book in here, too. Here's the postcard. Which is really cool. I love how artists include things like that, like little mementos. And then it has the little book in here too. I love it. This I got at a record store in Madison, Wisconsin. I like supporting smaller stores if I can. I have West Side Story. I have Journey in the beginning, which this one also opens up. Their style kind of reminds me of Tame Impala, just a little bit. I have Steve Martin, Let's Get Small. Steve Martin, what a goofball, love him. Opens up like that. Kissy and the Sunshine Band. This one has Boogie Shoes, which is my absolute favorite song from Kissy and the Sunshine Band. The Guess Who, which has my favorite song, Clap for the Wolfman. <laughs> Funny enough, and American Woman. Those two are my favorites from The Guess Who. But this is their live show, and I think that's really cool. Then I have the incomparable comic strip Comes to Life, Peanuts. Super cool. I haven't listened to this one yet either. And I have Chicago, and this one has Stay the Night, We Can't Stop the Hurtin', Hard Habit to Break, Only You, Remember the Feeling, which is a really good one, and a bunch of other songs as well. But this is such a good album. My Fair Lady with Audrey Hepburn. This is also one that I ordered on Walmart.com, and it is 13 going on 30. And this one is a hot pink bubblegum vinyl. And this also is an amazing soundtrack. This is also one of my favorite, favorite, favorite films of all time. I love this movie. And The Go-Go's Head Over Heels or Burning Down the House by Talking Heads are some of my favorites on this one. So cute. I have The Rainmakers. And this one I've actually never, I've never heard of them before, but I thought that it was so cool and I wanted to give it a shot. Blues Brothers. And this one is... Briefcase Full of Blues, which Hey Bartender's on this one, and Soul Man, which are some really great ones. I listen to the Blues Brothers because of my parents. And then The Eagles, their greatest hits from 1971 to 1975, which is pretty cool. And this one has Take It Easy, Witchy Woman, Lion Eyes, Already Gone, Desperado, One of These Nights, Tequila Sunrise, Take It to the Limit, Peaceful, Easy Feeling, and Best of My Love, which my favorite song on here is Take It Easy or One of These Nights. The Eagles are so good. I love them. I did talk about how the Romy Michelle and the Stranger Things 4 were some of my most recent vinyls that I did purchase, but actually I just purchased these ones on Saturday with my friend Megan. I got Harry Styles. Harry Styles. His self-named album. This one was $29.99 at Barnes & Noble. They actually have some really good vinyls and this album is just no skips. But I really love Meet Me in the Hallway or Ever Since New York. I mean, I love them all. But And then I also got One Direction's Made in the AM. My friend got One Direction's Four. And this one has Hey Angel, Drag Me Down, Perfect Infinity, End of the Day, If I Could Fly, a Long Way Down, Never Enough, Olivia, What a Feeling, Love You Goodbye, I Want to Write You a Song in History. I have so many good memories with this album, and I would say Hey Angel or, oh my gosh, End of the Day. Those are some of my favorites, but I love the entire album. It was like non-stop replay in my car when I was in high school, so that's a really good one. This is a more rare uh, vinyl that I got a couple months ago, and this is actually pressed by somebody that represses 
albums themselves, but this is the Queen of the Damned album, and it does not have all the songs on here that I wanted, but it does have some of the good ones. I mean, all these songs are really good if you're into metal, but it does have Forsaken by David Draymond, and it has Chester Bennington's from Linkin Park. Uh, system. It has a Deftones change in the House of Flies. The one song that I really wish that was on here is um, Kidney Thieves Before I'm Dead. That's one of my favorites from this album, but otherwise this is a good one for sure. And it's actually very rare, so I was happy to find someone that like presses them themselves, and that was on Mercari. And then this one I found, this is my last one, it's a little spooky, but I found this actually at the thrift store and they had it on like their expensive shelves. I noticed a trick or treat vinyl and a Friday the 13th, but this one was laying flat on the shelf and I was like, oh, I wonder, but they weren't there when I first walked in. So I was doing another wrap around the store and I saw these and I was like, oh my gosh, what's that trick or treat thing? I think it's a vinyl. So I asked the lady if I could see them and she's like, yeah, this guy just came in like five minutes ago and wanted to donate these. And they were all horror movie, they're all horror movie soundtracks. And the Trick or Treat one, they wanted like $70 for it. And the Friday the 13th one, they wanted $70 for it. They also had like a House of Monsters one for $70. But this one that was laying flat, still in the casing, like the best condition out of all of them, was Stephen King's It. The one from 1990 with Tim Curry. This was composed and conducted by Richard Bellis. This is an amazing, amazing soundtrack. This was $50. I don't know why they priced this one less. This is amazing. It, like I said, it's still in the sleeve. I'll take it out for you guys. It's a trifold, so fold it out. You can see pictures of Derry. So there's little Georgie. And there's Pennywise in the middle, which is just, I mean, this is so cool. Each of the vinyls, there's a red, a blue, and a yellow. So really, really, really cool. It was totally worth it. I did not have the money to spend because I was actually in between jobs at the moment. But now that I have a full-time job, I was like, you know what? It'll be fine. And it has um, a piece of the newspaper clipping. And you can actually make your own little paper boat, which is cool. But fun fact, I'm actually reading it right now. It was a part of my physical TBR challenge, and it was the book that I drawed, so I'm reading that currently. But there's the red one. It's just so cool. If you guys want me to ever, like, go further in depth of what each vinyl looks like, I can definitely do that. But I made a whole video about this on my TikTok. It's pinned on my profile, so if you want to see what each vinyl looks like, I did a little sneak peek there as well. But this is my entire vinyl collection. I thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I know that this is going to be a long one to watch, but thank you so much, and I hope that you're doing well. If you're a vinyl enthusiast like me, definitely comment down below your favorite vinyl that you own and one of the favorites that I have in my collection, and I'll see you in my next video. Until then, shine bright. Bye!